Hi boys and girls, I'm teacher Patty and I'm a teacher from Options for Learning and today I'm going to read the story titled Caps for Sale. A tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Told and illustrated by S. Fryer Saul Bodkina. Have you read this story before? Some of you have, I have, and I love this story. It's one of my favorite stories. Do you know what the story is about? What do you think the story is about? Yeah, it says caps for sale, the title. So another word for caps is hats. Do you see any hats? Yeah, they're right here. They're stacked up next to the tree and it's a tale of a peddler. Do you know what a peddler is? A peddler is someone that sells things. So it's a person who sells things. So who do you think the peddler is? Yeah, I think it's this man up here. He's sleeping in the tree. <laughs> and it says a tale of a peddler. Okay, the peddler, some monkeys. <gasps> Do you see monkeys? I see two monkeys. Do you see them? Behind the tree, I see one, two behind the tree. And their monkey business. So we're gonna find out what a tale of a peddler, some monkeys and their monkey business means. So let's find out. I love this story. It's one of my favorite stories because it's funny. <laughs> and this is the title page, Caps for Sale. So I see the peddler again with his caps. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap. Then he had gray caps brown caps, blue caps, and red caps. You see all the caps he had? He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight as not to upset his caps. And he went along the street and he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. So he's selling those caps for 50 cents? Wow, that is a good bargain. Look, there he is. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up and down the street and he was calling out, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. Hmm, he could not sell any. And he began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. Why do you think he had no money? Yeah, because he didn't sell any caps. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he thought. And he walked out of the town slowly, slowly, not to upset his caps. He did not want those caps to fall down. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and he leaned back very carefully against the tree trunk not to disturb the caps on his head. So he wanted to make sure those caps stayed in their spot. Then he put his hand to feel if they were straight. Oh, yep. First he checked his own gray cap, his checked cap. He, then he felt the gray caps, the brown caps, the blue caps, and the red caps, and they were all there. So he took a nap and he went to sleep and he slept for a very long time. 
See the sun shining bright? Ah, oh, he's taking a nice nap under the sun. Oh, then he woke up and he was refreshed and rested. So he's stretching. Ah, that was a nice nap. But before standing up, he felt his hand to make sure the caps were in the right place. And he only felt his checked cap. Oh my, I didn't even notice. Did you notice when he woke up? Look, the caps were gone already. <gasps> and when he went to feel to make sure that they were there, he only felt his own cap. Oh my goodness. And he was wondering what happened. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him and he looked behind the tree. No caps. Hmm. What happened to them? He wondered. Then he looked up. Oh, and what do you think he saw? What do you think he saw when he looked up in the tree? What do you think is there? Oh, you're right. The monkeys. The monkeys were up in the tree. And on every batch sat a monkey. And on every monkey was a gray cap, a brown cap, a blue cap, and a red cap. Oh my goodness, look at those silly monkeys. They thought those caps were, were for them. Those silly monkeys. And the peddler looked at the monkeys and the monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. What do you think he said? He said, and he shook his finger. Can you shake your finger like this? He said, you monkeys, you monkeys, shaking his finger at them. You give me back your, my caps. But the monkeys, you know what they did? They shook their finger and they said, tss, 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 tss. Oh, silly monkeys. <laughs> So this made the peddler even angrier and he shook both hands. Can you shake both hands? Because you're very upset. <laughs> and he said, you monkeys, you monkeys, you give me back my caps. And guess what the monkeys did? Can you see them? Yeah, they shook their hands and they said, tss, tss, tss. Those silly monkeys, they think they're playing a game. They're just copying him. They're just mimicking him. That means he, they're copying what he's doing. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot. Can you stamp your foot? Ugh, mad. You monkeys, you monkeys, you better give me back my caps. And guess what the monkeys did? They stamped their foot. And they said, tss, 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 tss. oh my God, they're just copying him. <laughs> they're not giving back the caps. So this time the peddler was really, really, very, very angry. And he stamped both his feet. So he stamped both feet. And he said, you monkeys, you monkeys, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys, they only stamped their feet and they said tss, 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 as they stamped their feet. Oh my goodness. He's never going to get those caps. They're not going to give in to him. They think he's playing a game. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away, away. So he got so frustrated and tired because they were not listening to his words, threw the cap to the ground. 
And what do you think the monkeys did? <gasps> the monkeys each pulled off the cap. So they took off the cap. And what do you think they're going to do? <gasps> yeah, they threw the cap to the ground. And all the gray caps, the brown caps, the blue caps, the red caps came flying down out of the tree. Oh, so he did get his caps. The peddler picked up his caps and put them on his head. He was so happy. He got his caps and he put them in piles. He put all the red together, the blue, the brown, and the gray. He put them in a pile and he put them back on his head and he slowly, slowly walked back to town calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. So he's trying to sell those caps still. Good thing those monkeys Gave the caps back. The end. That's what it says here. The end. That means the story is over. Did you like that story? I told you it was a funny story. Those monkeys are silly. Well, I hope you like the story. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>